through how to take the Nocturne Industries Alpha Mount and convert it from uh, Lockout to Force to Overcome only. Uh, what you're going to need is a 1 Allen key um, as well as a 5 uh, hex bit. Um, you're going to start by putting the mount um, in what is basically a halfway position. Um, what you're looking for is there's a set screw um, inside this through hole. Um, once you see that it's lined up with that through hole, basically you're in the right position. Um, you're gonna go ahead and take your 564th spit, release the shoulder bolt. Once it's unthreaded, you can uh, pull it out with your hand able to grab it. If it gives you some trouble, um, you can try wiggling the arm a bit to get it free. Once that's free, go ahead and bring the carriage out. You can do that by rotating the tilt and trying to work it out. So you can see the carriage is now sticking outside the sled. What you're going to want to do is you got two through holes here in the carriage. Try and line up those set screws so that you can access them. What we're trying to do is unload the ball bearings before we try and remove them from that carriage. So now my set screws are lined up with these two through holes. I'm gonna take your 1 16th bit, stick it into your first through hole like this, and give that a couple rotations lefty loosey uh, until you feel it snug up, and then give it a rotation back in. Same thing with this other one. Basically releasing these springs so that you can pull them out. Once that's done, give your arm a pull, and you can see the key just dropped out. Basically the ball bearings are now disengaged and the arm is slightly out of the carriage. You can uh, grab your spring and bump it out. Go ahead and just pull that spring out. You can slide the arm back down in the carriage, re-engage the ball bearings. Now, what I would recommend is take your bolt, stick it back through, and then that way, you can clock the arm back into a position where you can access those set screws. Pull the bolt back out. Take your 1 16 again. Now I'm going to go ahead and load those springs back up. Go ahead and drop the arm and carriage back down into the sled. See if I can get it in the right position here. If you're looking at the through hole here where the shoulder bolt goes back through, 
Um, you'll know you're in the right position when you can uh, see right through it. Go ahead and drop your shoulder bolt back in place. Um, I got lucky, it dropped right through. If you have a tough time, um, give this arm a wiggle as you're pressing down. Uh, and that should send it right through. Um, we would recommend some sort of Loctite here, um, either a blue or um, potentially some rock set. If you have some on hand, just be careful uh, to not use too much. Go ahead and tighten this bolt back down. Don't start torquing on it until you drop the arm back in place. Now you can start torquing on that bolt. We go to about five inch pounds on that bolt here, um, but you will feel as you put torque on it, um, you'll feel this area compress. Uh, that'll translate into some friction force when you're rotating it. So feel free to adjust that as you see fit. Um, but that's basically it. So the mounts uh, back together, forced to overcome only. There's no lockout. Um, that's it.